anyway the high altitude lakes high altitude lakes produces this bhar sediment can you tell me what is the bhar sediment high altitude lakes means himalayan lakes what type of huh? they have glacial origin glacial origin then we how bhar looks like अल्ट्रासाउंड
hot environment hot environment in a hot environment the precipitation will be precipitation will be more than telling in cold environment why that is what you are telling na so he said the bigger thicker growth indicates cold environment I do not know. 
So cold environment supports coral growth. Hot environments, you know, does not support coral growth. They are the desired okay. Now, next one is this. Huh? One more thing I'll tell, then I'll show you some graphs. There's some time. Huh? I have covered, I'll just show you some graph. Huh? Some periods, you know, I'll just make a note in the blackboard so that you will not forget. Huh? So, this is a graph showing different periods, you know, in the last 16,000 years. 16,000 years. Sixteen thousand years. You know, see the cold regions or the cold climate. You tell me which is the cold climate? <coughs> These are from the ice cores, huh? So this is one cold climate. Who oh, 18 is measuring huh? less sedimentary. In sediments or yeah. So these are the cold areas. Huh? This is one, this is two, three, four. Like that in the cold regions. So he is telling 1500 is one, 15,000 is one. This is older dry acid. Older, what spelling is that? DRYS. Y S. Then you are another is younger dry acid, around 12,000. This is more prominent. These are cold periods. What is the dress? This is the flower in which, huh? which blooms during winter. During cold, during cold climate. Yeah, what is the dry softer better? Dry? Dry softer better. Is it flower? Na? Art, art better. Art better. What is the color? Yellow? So, so these flowers grew, so they were all they were preserved in the ice pool. They were preserved in the ice pool. So that is why they have been named, you know, as older grass and younger grass. So one is 15,000, another is 12,000. So these are the two cold periods. Okay, what periods are length, if you can remember. Then Holocene begins. Holocene begins around this time. This is Holocene. So, Holocene is the warming period or the cold period. See how it is going. It is going like this. Like this. Warming, you know, see this part. But in between, you know, there are some cold, or cold, or glacial, etc. But overall, it is the warming period. Understood now? Now he is putting another graph here. So only for Holocene. For Holocene, he is putting another graph. Just I am showing, I will pass on this graph to you. You see the Holocene. Just I am giving a chart to you. There is no graph. Very, I will just show you some important events. Which you can remember, you know. Which one I should say? Here is the warm period, you know. Did you have Which one? Little ice is. Let us write down. Huh? Little ice is yes, more important. Little ice is. Little ice is 1800 to 1500. This year. This 1800 will be getting of huh? Is it after, is it after crash? Yeah. After crash or before crash? After crash. After crash. After crash. After crash. Very recent. Very recent. This is this year. Younger crash went here. 
So this is the idea, sorry, this is the idea. Yeah. So this starts from this side, you know? this starts from this side. So that another medium or war period, you know, can you just go ahead and see? Liquid supplied water. Huh? Where? 752 watt is the distance slide of the medium of water period, right? Yeah. Medium of This one I think, 1100 to 1600. 1100 to 1300. This is the water period, water period. Medieval war. So these two things you just remember, huh? not many. Medieval war. Medieval war. <laughs> so these are in the hollow city. These things with younger dryers have gone already. He's showing you this side, you know, 10,000 to 8,000. So hollow thing warming. He's showing hollow thing warming as a whole, but there are some cold. cold. That is what is done, huh? Oh. So you stop it here. Yeah.